Okay, in an exclusive interview situation, Mike Wang was asked if there are any additional gameplay nuances that players might not notice at first that he would like to highlight. This is a very interesting question and we need to break this question down piece by piece to understand what's being said here in the answer. First, let's start by defining nuance. A subtle difference is a nuance. In his response, he plays a little bit of cloak and dagger. He says, we haven't really announced much of it yet, but the badge game is very nuanced this year. Let's put it this way. The way you play on court is going to reflect how your badges get shaped and how your player looks at the end of the day. So when you do something over and over again, let's say you like to do spin jumpers, you're going to see your abilities as a spin jumper improve steadily over time. And so you're going to find that just the way you play the game, what you like to do on the court is going to improve. You're going to kind of build your player in that aspect. At the surface level, this pretty much sounds like we're abandoning the badge point system where we apply badge points to whatever badge we would like to. And we're going back to the system where we actually have to grind our badges by repeating on court actions that coincide with whatever badge we're looking to grind up. This is something that I was looking for and I mentioned in a previous video that I'm really excited to hear. The part that caught my eye was that he said, I'm excited to have a new feature in the game where you can mold your player on the fly as you play games. What I'm hearing is that we're going to be able to build our bag of badges on court as we play the game. But it raises more questions as to are we going to be able to lose badge progression if we don't use certain moves over time? Or will we be going into games with no badges and then building up our bag during that game in particular? Leave a comment down below on what type of badge system you would like to see in NBA 2K24. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can keep up with your boy on them. While I really can't wait to get more information on this new badge system, I'm already excited to know that there's a new system in place. Who knows, this might even change the climate for the badge grind the price may have went up. We can only wait and see. Go like the video. The one downside that I do see from this information that's been given to us is that you may not want to grind for badges in the rec center or in the park now. You might want to take that to my career games with the computer because this is going to give up some goofy play styles. If you're looking for certain badges, there's certain things that you're going to be doing in game to get those badges that just aren't going to be conducive to winning in the park or in the rec or in the pro app. And seeing as how most of y'all do not like to sit in my career games and grind, yesterday's price really might not be today's price for the badge grinders. Prime example with this tweet from Red City. Now with this new badge feature, I'm hoping it goes for park only. Cause if not, the community will just go to my career and abuse everything till they get the badge. It's a real hater statement to make, but Muggsy came back, Muggsy Hoops came back and said, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't want she loved Jay underscore on my team shooting from half court trying to get limitless range laughing crying emoji so just a heads up the trolls will always find a way to troll and that is going to be a prime example of what we're going to have to deal with next year we're going to have she love j underscore shooting from limitless we're going to have black cobra shooting kobe fades all day and if you're playing by yourself if you solo you might want to find a squad now Cheer!